We've got an awesome bucket list trip to share with you, an RV tour that makes its way around the U.S. shoreline of all five Great Lakes. We did it, and in this video we want to encourage you to do the same, and so to give you a hint about what it's like, let us introduce you to just one of those lakes, Lake Huron. Come on along! We absolutely love the water of the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Gulf, but one of our greatest adventures was traveling the Great Lakes. Yeah, we liked it so much that we ended up writing a book about it, the Great Lakes Shoreline Tour, and it is now available. But this trip is unlike any of the other ones that we've done because it's not a seven day adventure, it's not even a week long trip. We spent a whole summer doing it, and uh, you could actually spend several summers doing it. How many miles is this trip? Uh, 4,000 miles. 4,000 miles in eight states. It is an incredible journey. And in this book, we're gonna show you where to stay, uh, what route to take, uh, what to see along the way, even where uh, the best campgrounds are. But um, what we thought would be fun to do with this video is to give you sort of a slice of life. So we came to this lake. This actually is Saginaw Bay and it's part of one of our favorite of the five Great Lakes. Lake Huron. Yeah, so uh, we did a short little section of that just a, a short time ago to kind of give you an idea of how awesome Lake Huron and all the Great Lakes are. So let's uh, take it with us. The U.S. side of Lake Huron is entirely in the state of Michigan, starting in Port Huron and making its way north across the Mackinac Bridge into the Upper Peninsula, where it eventually meets Lake Superior at the Sioux Locks in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. For this video, we want to share with you just a section of our Lake Huron tour of the lake in which we traveled US-23 from south of the bridge near Harrisville down around the Michigan Thumb on the shoreline route of M25. We spent almost a week on this stretch, which covered about 130 miles. That's how we like to tour, slow and easy, and taking advantage of the serendipity we find along the way. It all starts with Jennifer packing our well, RV. I think I've got everything we own. Can't go wrong with mail. Got some chicken. Always turn your refrigerator on the day before you're leaving so it's cold when you come out here. Otherwise, you put all your food in there and it really is a burden on it. Oatmeal. Got it all made up for tomorrow. All I need to do is uh, warm it up a little bit. Had some leftover lettuce. Chopped it up last night. Add a little bit and this is pound cake if you eat pound cake you will gain a pound i can testify to that it's a weakness that i have pepper jack cheese gonna make a hamburger so i want some cheese to put on top of it a little brown sugar for the uh, oatmeal cherries we have a lot of fruit i have uh some beef barbecues i think i'll leave those out for tonight oh i better get move faster I'm getting yelled at. Shut the door. Some eggs. Let me get some eggs. Got a few eggs. I got some hard boiled eggs. Let's see. I'll stick those in here. I've got some watermelon chopped up for a snack. Yes. All right, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying for that. Those burgers, pickles, mustard. Got a couple of juices. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. It's beeping, meaning I've had the door open too long. So I'm going to shut the door. I believe it's time to hit the road. The route we're taking to our destination, we decided that we want to hug Lake Huron, so we got off in Standish, and we're on US 23, we're here now, 
And so we're just going to follow this right up to our campground up at Harrisville. And this harkens back to a day when traveling was a little more leisurely, people weren't in such a big hurry, you didn't have the big interstates, and you had these delightful little parks to pull over and rest, sit spell, and continue on. US 23 is mostly a two-lane highway. There's some passing lanes, there's some nice little roadside parks along the way, and as you get a little north of Standish on your way north, you'll find that the lakeshore itself is just a few yards from the highway. Nice place to walk, huh? Mm -hmm. Along the Lake Huron shoreline, when you take a walk in the woods, the micro beauty of the woods, the flower, the buttercup flowers, fox and cub flowers, it's just pretty to look at the delicate little flowers. Prairie fleabane. Purple iris, some people call it the blue flag. Now this daisy has so many different names. We're just gonna call it white daisy. I mean, it's dog daisy and all kinds of daisies. We've got some white clover, bunny food. Confession time. I know what these are because of an app and don't you want that app too? <laughs> so that when you're walking along and you see something, you say, oh, that's so beautiful. I wonder what its name is. You can find out. Okay, the app, I know you're all gonna wanna know what it is. I'll put a link in the description below, but it's called Picture This. There's a lot of other apps that'll do it, but you can take a picture of the flower or the tree or the shrub and bam, just like that, it'll tell you what it is and make you look like an expert. As we look at this little creek, little stream that I picture all the deer and the wild animals coming here to get a drink, Bo is looking at it and he's whimpering. He wants to go down there and have a drink and just sniff. I'm standing surrounded by white pines. That's the official tree of Michigan, but it was also the tree that created the lumbering boom of the late 1800s and early 1900s. In Michigan and along the Great Lakes shoreline, these trees were as lucrative as the gold rush in California. I don't think Bo is interested in the daisies. I think he smells some animal. Is there anything better than the sound of waves? I just love this.
Bo says there's nothing better than getting a drink out of the lake. I think everyone is attracted to a big body of water. There's just something about uh, how huge it is, the, when the storms come, and even when it's clear and calm. It's, it's hypnotic, it's relaxing. Everybody seems to think you have to go to California or Florida or uh, the Atlantic coast, and, and they are beautiful, but the shoreline, the Great Lakes shoreline, it, it's the best kept secret, I think, in the RV world. <laughs> I know Bo prefers the water in the Great Lakes to uh, the ocean. <laughs> he doesn't like drinking salt water. No. Of course, this is just the Lake Huron shoreline. And this is one of five Great Lakes. And they're all this spectacular and all different. You know, up here in the northern stretches of Lake Huron, uh, it's a rocky coast. There's some sand out there, but the water is clear and cool and when that sun is shining and the water reflects the blue of the sky it's pretty hard to beat. And again this is one of five Great Lakes. You'll find this if you take this tour that we suggest uh, you'll find this on all five of them and it really is a natural resource that you need to explore and if you've never really spent time in the Great Lakes budget some time um, it would not be unreasonable to spend a whole summer trying this. That's how spectacular it is, driving the U.S. shoreline. Now, the Canadian shoreline is great, too, but uh, we don't have time to add that on. That would be like probably 8,000 miles by the time you did all of that. But it's a trip that you should take. We are at Tawas Bay, Tawas State Park, and this is a dog-friendly beach. Perfect. Bo loves the Great Lakes. He loves all freshwater inland lakes. Lake Huron has 35 lighthouses along its shoreline. This one at Tawas Point at the uh, Tawas Point State Park was first commissioned in 1850. And along the whole Great Lakes, all five of them, there are something like 135 different lighthouses. Some people make a tour of just visiting them. All up and down the Great Lakes shoreline, uh, every small city and village has a marina and usually a very well-protected harbor. Boating on the Great Lakes is everywhere. Here in Port Sanilac, every Saturday night, there's music in the park by the harbor and other music festivals as well. And a case in point, we found a 60s music festival going on. Thank you. Thank you. So that was just a little slice of Lake Huron. Remember, there are five great lakes and a lot to see. And that's why we ended up having to write a book about it. Um, we love uh, road tour adventures, and that's what the Great Lakes Shoreline Tour is. Uh, there's a link below that you can click and find out more information. We'll also put it in the description, but uh, check it out. The book is out uh, right now and it's available for order. We hope you enjoyed that. We hope most of all that you get out there and get a chance to experience the Great Lakes yourselves. They are truly uh, a national treasure. And if you've never really traveled that shoreline, uh, go do it. Eight states, 4,000 miles, it's a great trip. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're Mike and Jen. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and uh, click the little bell icon. Then you'll be notified when we have new videos online. Happy trails.